Hello everyone, thanks for dropping by. For a start, I wish it was me driving that Rolls Royce, and instead of a guy sat next to me, it would be a beautiful woman, preferably Chastity Lynn. But anyway, you all know that MGTOW has been banned from Reddit, and the MGTOW fork philosophy has gone on to other platforms. One of them is Instagram, but I found this article yesterday. It's, as you can see, from a magazine called Mel, and it seems that Instagram also has a problem with the MGTOW philosophy. It's quite a long article. I'm not going to go through it, just one or two little things. As you can see, it says, Men going their own way were driven off Reddit for misogynistic hate speech. True, a lot of MGTOWs have just gone too far, and they're not following the MGTOW philosophy of just looking after themselves. But Mel identified hundreds of accounts on the photo app that ra radicalised lonely men. So now we're in the radicalisation zone. And if you scroll down, these are not links, it's just the handles of uh, all the MGTOWs on Instagram. As you can see, MGTOW Day, MGTOW Central, MGTOW Dad, Lone Wolf, MGTOW in France, I've covered before, MGTOWs in Spain, MGTOWs in Brazil. I don't know which that, that is, that, that is MGTOW in India, I'll get to that in a bit. MGTOW in France again, MGTOW here in Britain, another one for Brazil, and this bot bottom one is for Israel. So if you just keep scrolling down, there's lots of pictures from these MGTOW sites. I think this one is quite appropriate. This is the 90-10 or 80-20 rule. See the top 10% 10, 10 of men Attractive, tall, rich, drive a luxury car. But only 14.5% of American men are over 6 foot tall. So that's 14.5% of the top 10%, which shows you how small the dating pool of men are that most women want to date. And if you go down, this one is also interesting. What feminist propaganda tells you society looks like. Money, power, equality of life, etc. But they never show this whole picture. See, the top 10%, majority of women, and ordinary guys at the bottom. And then we go down to how women want to be seen and what women are actually doing. And then... We go down. This is a amusing thing. And I found this one is relevant to guys around the world. MGTOW's a bridge over it before you get to your life goals. As Tony Montoya in Scarface, Scarface said, first you get the money, then you get the power, then you get the woman. And if you go down further... That's all Naziist stuff. And that's the article. Now, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ah, uh, there, MGTOW India. Looking around, I found this. Apparently MGTOW is having a profound effect in India which has 1.4 billion people, or 700 million guys, and there's a trend in India at the moment called Marriage Strike. It's an online trend that exposes Indian society's views on consent and women's independence. It boils down to laws that favour women have destroyed the family institution. That's identical to what's been happening here in the West and in Canada and America. Sexual crimes and adultery by women are on the rise. But there's been some disgusting rapes in India, which I totally am opposed to. It's just wrong. 
by misusing laws evil and disgraceful ladies wives are able to extort loads of money which i would imagine it's the indian view an indian way of alimony the highlights are campaign of gunner support for a, a section of men who argue that such a law will empower women to file false claims i.e false rate claims many users vow to maintain back to remain bachelors calling it a strike against marriage several accounts declaring themselves to be MGTOWs also proudly participate in hash marriage strike now the article goes on about what's going on in MGTOW not in MGTOW in India sorry Besides, several men's activists and similar groups took to Twitter earlier this week alleging that the present-day legal system discriminates how issues of harassment, abuse and rape of women are dealt with vis-à-vis that of men. It says lawyers in the Delhi court can stop treating men as second-class citizens and make basic demands. Then they can call for any number of laws for women till then it is marriage strike and MGTOW. And the article goes down. Speaking about divorce lawyers, Giant said he knew of cases where in women divorce their husbands to avail reservations for divorce and widowed women provided for government job applications. In other words, a sort of Indian version of job mo- uh, monkey branching. He also expressed reservations about single parenting, claiming that a child is cared for well in a joint family. True and alleged that family structures are being destroyed in the present age. And then it goes down, Indian version of Twitter. Feminism encourages women to leave their husbands, practice witchcraft, that's nonsense, destroy capitalism and become lesbians. That's a moot point. Now this I found of interest. It's called female empowerment. Get used to it. And a woman says, you're not empowered. You're a self-destructive, promiscuous whore. Which a lot of these empowered women probably are because they're riding the cock carousel. They're not saving the virtue, etc. for a special guy in their life. But anyway, it finishes off. While many Indian women have countered the movement by expressing support to men, it shows a lot of Indian women are not, what's the word, fooled by feminism from doing them a favour in their online strike to remain single. We must know that this trend is a crucial factor of reality. And our consent is viewed and why women will need to justify independence and autonomy for years to come. But it seems... In the MGTOW case, guys in India are having enough of Indian women who are becoming westernized and western views and it's starting to show up with a marriage strike. Whether that will affect the Indian population in the long term is anyone's guess. But as for the western world, we can get this to go up. These are all the mig towels that are coming onto instagram and instagram i think is owned by facebook so mig is going to be driven off instagram in the very near future so this video is sort of like a forewarning of what's coming our way and we have to find another platform i don't agree with the online hate speech against women and wanting to cause them harm because that is totally wrong in my book but it seems that MGTOW is not going away no matter what the Western press does against us as the philosophy is for the moment unstoppable. On that note, I think just have a quick look at Google Trends to see how it's going. New window, expand that. Google Trends. Click that. Make tau. 
Mm, same as before. Up, down, up, down, up, down. That's... For the UK. Worldwide. Let's see how it is worldwide. More or less steady again. And peak in July last year. Uh, see what's North America. Come on. Oh dear. North Korea. Ha. Huh. Let's have a look at North Korea. Well, it's not surprising. Sorry about this, people. It should be United States. Right at the bottom. There we go. United States. And once again, July, 25th of July, a peak and then up and down. Let's see. Feminism. And more or less the same. Anyway, I'll naturally put both these links below, but I think we're on the 10 minute mark now. But it seems like MGTOW is going to get booted off Instagram for a few bad apples in the MGTOW community and guys. But in India, things are getting interesting as the Indian guys are going on marriage strike and that will affect the Indian economy and Indian, Indian way of life. Okay, people, uh, you know the routine. Like, dislike, come and subscribe. It's completely up to you. So until the next one next week, that's it for me. Bye-bye.